please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. But the margins have missed estimates. The forex gain has driven the bottom line in this particular quarter. Our Shri Krishna, the CEO of the company, is with us to talk about that. Shri Krishna, good morning and thanks for joining us. I wanted to start by asking you what your outlook is on the margin front because the EBIT percentage, EBIT margins, have fallen from 16.3% that you saw in Q3 of calendar year 2016 and now trading at uh, now almost at about 14 odd percent. Uh, even this quarter, there was a bit of disappointment. Should we? Expect these pressures to continue? So, uh, you know, for this quarter, at last quarter we guided, we said specifically we are going to do a planned reduction in utilization, uh, which obviously has a headwind to, to margins. Um, we did that at this quarter because we know there are other tailwinds uh, and we could afford to do a reduction in utilization without impacting profitability. So we did actually maintain profitability from the previous quarter. Um, for In terms of future, we have provided a guidance that our EPS will grow by uh, 13 to 14 percent for this year in dollar terms and higher in INR terms. Uh, but from an EBITDA uh, perspective or operating performance, we expect it to grow in line with revenues, which means uh, roughly similar profitability. That's for the coming quarters. What we've done is to, in a planned manner, reduce utilization. That's going to have uh, an impact, twofold impact. It allows us to service our clients better, but also in the medium term, in a two quarter period, will allow us to improve structural cost. And so that gives us an opportunity in the longer term to improve margins a little bit, but that's not going to be for this rest of this fiscal year. Okay. Uh, well, Shri Krishna, yeah, you referred to your uh, dollar uh, EPS growth guidance of 13 to 14 percent. Now, if we assume a 68 rupee uh, dollar, mm -hmm. then it translates to a rupee EPS growth of 17 and a half to 18 and a half percent. This compares with 22 percent that you did in H1. Yeah. Uh, so, are you guiding lower, slower? Well, our forex gains for the rest of the year will be uh, materially lower. Uh, we, we had solid forex gains um, during this quarter and also the previous quarter. Uh, that will actually reduce substantially going forward. Okay. okay. In terms of deal wins, are you seeing a lower run rate per quarter? for uh, your fresh deals because in the first half you did see deal wins of around 69 million dollars that compares to 180 million dollars in all of calendar year 2017 mm -hmm. some slowdown visible there actually no on a year on year basis we are up last quarter we were up this quarter is flattish but there is usually our pattern is more wins in H2 mm. than in H1. So okay. there's no slowdown. All right. Uh, give us some color on margins, please. Uh, you know, your EBIT has fallen from 16.3 in uh, third quarter calendar 16 to now 14%. Uh, and even this quarter, some people would complain that the margins were a miss. Mm -hmm. uh, gross margins are also down about 120 basis points quarter on quarter. Just give us some color why and the way forward. Sure. I mean, first is, I, I think, you know, Q3 of last year is, is a, you know, uh, not necessarily a, the right benchmark. We always have some variations across quarter. Okay. So we'll talk about now and, and the future. Uh, last quarter, now and the future. From last quarter to this quarter, like I said, the biggest change we did was to reduce our utilization. There's, of course, visa costs also, uh, yeah. substantial amount okay. of visa costs in this quarter. Um, so those were kind of the two big headwinds for Margins. margin, whatever you see, it's, it's ultimately still flat um, margin performance for this quarter. Um, we will have wage hikes uh, in H2, uh, in Q3 and more in Q4. Um, and, and usually our, you know, the rupee depreciation ends up funding the wage hike. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking at rupee depreciation as a way to uh, improve margin in the short term. Okay. Uh, it is going to fund 
are wage hikes. Fair enough. But uh, uh, Sri Krishna, just uh, for a, a final point on how the future is panning out, uh, you know, we saw a substantially mm -hmm. confident guidance from mm -hmm. the likes of TCS. Uh, can you give us some qualitative guidance? Are things improving, you know, digital orders, uh, orders in any vertical? How would you look at, uh, say, the next four quarters? Yeah. Yeah. So, first is, I mean, we have bumped our guidance from 10 to 12 to 12 to 13. And we should bear in mind that the 12 to 13 is after losing at least one and a half percentage on cross currency. Mm. We lost one and a half percentage this quarter on cross currency. Um, so there's obviously a lot of confidence in growth. And, and that confidence is coming from our existing auto book, mainly a little bit of pipeline, which is very strong. Right? So there's just a lot of confidence. I mean, we wouldn't up our guidance in spite yep. of a substantial cross-currency headwind uh, without a lot of confidence in the business. Okay, yes. Shri Krishna, we leave it at that. We've run out of time. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh